The Orange County Great Park is beginning to take shape with some new infrastructure amenities that are being lauded as the cornerstone of the South Lawn. And while the new sports fields should be a milestone for the Great Park, the old fight between the park's warring factions continues. David Nazar joins us now with all the details. David? Yeah, Ed and Ann, it seems no matter what is accomplished in the future of the Great Park, some on the Irvine City Council are going to find a way to dredge up the past. With that said, the council recently unveiled the park's new South Lawn Sports and Fitness Complex. And in, be in between singing the new project's praises, there was some time for hitting the high notes also. All the Great Park players are here to unveil the new sports and fitness complex, a 30-acre expansion that is just about complete after more than a year of construction. The $23 million project includes four tournament-quality soccer fields, four basketball courts, a mile-long fitness trail, and a new and expanded walkable historic timeline. Also included is a viewing pier over the Great Park's first water feature, a pair of reflecting ponds near the park's entrance on Marine Way, and of course, the giant chess sets. Let's hope no one walks off with one of the pieces. Great Park Corporation CEO Mike Elzey acknowledged the $23 million price tag for some soccer fields and basketball courts was colossal. However, he has an explanation. Well, it is because uh, much of that investment actually is underneath the fields that you're looking at and standing on because we have a state-of-the-art water management system. The drainage system is absolute leading edge. Uh, we have a water management program that's geared toward capturing and reusing as, as much water as we possibly can. It's, part, it's the uh, cornerstone of what we hope to be a system-wide project for water management. Great Park Chair Jeff Lalloway also says $23 million is a massive amount to pay. Lalloway says he's just happy the Irvine City Council could finally unveil this sports complex because he agrees it is an amazing expansion to the park. What Lalloway does not agree with is the process or the people who got the park to this point. The previous council spent $250 million. Uh, we have stuff out here. I mean, I'll acknowledge it. It's just not enough for the amount spent. And now we're, uh, we're down to about $20 million left, which is not enough to build anything more. You were critical of the past council majority, but it still seems like there's not a lot out here with you folks, the new majority at the helm. Yeah, and we're doing our best. Uh, we're limited. Our circumstances are what they are. We don't have a lot of money left because of what's happened in the past. Lalloway blames the past partly on the former majority leaders Larry Agron and Beth Crom. Now that you're at the helm, now that you're the chair of the Orange County Great Park Corporation, do you have maybe a little bit more sympathy for the Beth Croms and the Larry Agrins of the world who you claim weren't getting anything done? And it's a matter of focus. Again, uh, we could be focused on parties and one-time events, or we can be focused on permanent amenities at the park. And I think we have a different focus than one-time events. And that's a, that's a fair uh, uh, criticism. Former Majority Leader Beth Crom disagrees. Rather than sort of making it a personal comparison, what I'd say is I'm very proud that for 12 years this project was led with a very clear vision, a vision for a great public park for the benefit of all of the people of Orange County, a, a vision for building the park and activating it as we built. So what some people might say or we're not into the events is really about activating the park. Crom says it's the new majority that is setting the Great Park back, and that majority does not have a clear vision going forward. I regret that there was such an investment on the part of the new majority to simply plant a flag to kind of say there's a new sheriff in town, we're going to get rid of the independent directors, we're going to start charging for the balloon, we're going to throw Beth Crom out of her position as chair of the, of the corporation, you know, a few months early. Well, like it or not, there is a new sheriff in town. In this case, an Irvine Council majority of Jeff Lalloway, Stephen Choi, and Christina Shea. We'll see where the great park goes from here. Now the city is working on a five-year strategic business plan, which Lalloway says is critically important in determining how future sources of Great Park revenue are going to be generated, most important of which is a deal that's trying to be brokered between the city and developer Emil Haddad and his company Five Point Communities. Haddad's plan calls for the construction of about 4,600 new homes at the park, in addition to 20 more soccer fields, baseball fields, sand, volleyball courts, things like that. Of course, Ed and Ann, the two sides have not yet been able to work out the details of how all this is going to get done. I'm going to try to have a report on that potential deal between those two entities on a future broadcast. All right. Very good, David. Thank you Thanks, so much David. for your report.